I think that a lot of people nowadays have this strong perception about generating passive income. And before I start, I want to clear it out. Passive income is not income that is generated without any effort by itself. You either have to put in a lot of work up front, like is the case when creating a digital product, be it an online course or a wallpaper pack, or a lot of capital and perseverance, like is the case with investing. Now, it is true that there are easier ways than others when it comes to building passive income, and it can last indefinitely, even when you are not actively working on it. This is happening to me right now, as I will share with you in a bit. I still have online courses that I created years ago that are still making money to this day. Let's start from the assumption that you don't have a lot of capital. If you do, I have several other videos on investing and you can go and watch those. Now, this leaves you with the path of creating something yourself from scratch that will make you recurring revenue monthly, either by charging a flat buying price or a recurring monthly subscription. There are several options and it all depends on your skill set and the area you feel that you can provide the most value in. With me being a software engineer, it felt pretty straightforward to jump into teaching others how to code, but for you it may be video editing, playing the guitar or cooking. So identify what you're good at, or at least know more of than the next guy. This should be your niche. Once you know this, you can create some sort of digital product that revolves around the topic. If you're an artist, you can create phone or laptop wallpapers. Maybe you studied medicine and you can create some sort of video material helping others pass their exams. The key thing you need to get right here is creating this asset only one time and then putting it up for sale somewhere where it can be bought by your target audience for a long period of time. This way, when you finish the product, your time will be detached from this source of income. There are online platforms that can help you with this. It depends again if you already have a pre-existing audience or marketing strategy, or if you want the platform to do that for you. Choose wisely as that marketing comes with a price. You only get a smaller part of each sale. If you are just starting out and have no one to sell whatever you are creating to, I recommend becoming an instructor on Udemy or Skillshare. The whole creation layout is very intuitive and they handle the entire marketing side of things. But for someone with a following, something like Gumroad for wallpapers, Kajabi for online courses or simply Payhip or pretty much any sort of digital asset would be a better fit. So let's get straight into it and let me show my dashboards for the past few years of selling these courses on programming. This is the Udemy one. Here I have published most of my courses that I created over the years on topics that range from APIs, the OAuth protocol, to integrating different Python libraries. It is a work in progress. I started out back in January of 2021, but other than the upfront work of creating the courses that took me from one week to one month, depending on the topic, there wasn't much work. I also have a part of my courses on Skillshare. They are trimmed and modified to fill the whole project-based approach of the brand. But you can see, before any taxes, I grossed about $16,000, which is about half of my yearly salary. Not bad at all. And my example is a pretty modest one. But if we look at other more talented or full-time involved authors, we can see much more impressive results. Islo, this guy that makes Notion templates, has shared that he makes 200k yearly from selling these. Notion templates have been blowing up recently, so if you are familiar with the app, you may as well try to create something similar to what you have and monetize it. Another idea is Excel courses. This app is used by almost everyone, even I track my monthly expenses using it. A TikTok content creator called Miss Excel marketed her online courses and makes from $200 to $1200 per course. So that would be in the millions gross revenue per year. But these are just a few paths you can choose. Sky's the limit. If you have any questions regarding your particular skill and what sort of asset you can create with it, leave them down below. A big aspect that can drastically change the trajectory of how much monthly income you'll generate while selling digital assets is marketing. 
If you are able to do indirect marketing on some sort of content that you put up on the internet for free or pay for ads, most of the revenue you generate will come directly to you. Otherwise, a big cut of 30 to 40% will be taken by the platform making the marketing for you, as it is the case with my personal courses. So if you have the time to cultivate a following, even though it will take several years, I highly suggest that you do, because it is so worth it in the long run. For me, these digital assets rank second in the amount of passive income generated after my investment portfolio. But there it is a different thing, you already need to have disposable income to put in and work for you. As here you can create income out of thin air if you are able to market whatever you are selling and bundle up enough utility in it to be worth it. And I think this is what makes this even more valuable, even though it is not as passive as investing in ETFs or the stock market would be. To reiterate what is most powerful about digital assets is that I still have content that I created years ago and that is still making me money to this day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching it to the end and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!